the Sustainable Home by Christine Liu. Practical projects, tips, and advice for maintaining a more eco-friendly household. So you get a few different sections. You get living room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and outdoors. So pretty much main areas of and anybody's home. So whether you live in a house or like an apartment or whatever, like. You, there are some like outdoor areas <laughs> so there is a little bit of talking about minimalism and decluttering so it it isn't the whole like it isn't the entire focus of the book because there are other books about those topics that one can look into like there's a whole like bookshelf of like decluttering books <laughs> depending on where you go so this is just kind of like another book onto that shelf but still it could be helpful towards uh different people so you get like energy usage like furniture and like in the living section so you get kind of like make your own like sections it's like kind of like the diy section like Planter, herb, like herb garden, black reusable t-shirt bags, and you get like a few recipes of like food as well. So you kind of, you do get that DIY slash re like make your own type thing. And some of them do take up a few pages. You do get like the setup, like the how to step by step with like photographs attached to them. So... Like you do get get topics like food waste, storage, storage composting, kitchen supply staples, uh, minimal minimalist uh, wardrobe, clothing materials, repair and repurpose. So you are getting more a more formal setup of information, and there is this, there is a slight informal aspect to the writing but it's more information based and there are a few books where it is like point form like room by rooms corner by corner like drawer by drawer kind of thing and the, like for me it wasn't like that it was like more general information based there are some like really great photographs in there and then you get in conclusion like it puts um, single quotations quote sustainability doesn't happen overnight I've realized over the years that sustainably sustainability is a journey end quote so she realizes like she states like what I get out of the, the quote is like she's stating that this information will take time where like for me in other books it's just like there is somewhat of like day one do this day two do this as like a week 30 day type thing and then it doesn't tell you like you got to keep this kind of mindset going after that seven day or 30 day like cleaning decluttering type thing like you gotta keep that kind of like mindset going and with that sentence she says like it's a journey it does it takes time it happens over time and you continue it over time so it's not a long book it does have good points but doesn't go too in depth about them which can be good for those who just want to ease into this kind of topic like eco-friendly minimalism decluttering kind of areas so it this can be a helpful book for those who just want to ease into it and don't want to do this straight away like kind of decluttering middle minimalism type thing it, yeah so you do get that so <laughs> the sustainable home by christine Liu. practical projects tips and advice for maintaining a more eco-friendly household happy readings